Hmm. Oh, hey, it's no longer a nice looking ballroom. Let's peek in this thing and uh Oh, this is the this is the thingies that were leaking stuff when things happened. That may be a little vague. Oh, look at that, Manchurian gold. Huh. God, I'm gonna have to look him up because I can't I can't picture him at the moment. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure if I've seen the entirety of Scarface. I know I've seen at least the first half hour or so. I know a lot of people really like it, um, but it didn't really pull me in. Why is that book floating? Okay. Oop. Uh, what happened? She's back in the oh. Brad. Hey. Oh, Brad. he's seeing shit. What are you? That's not good. Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? Stop it! Brad, stop! What the fuck? was delivered. Good. Oh, she's back in the plane, it looks like. Yeah, I mean... The 80s were definitely a thing. Oh. I mean, there's a group, I, I don't actually remember their name, but they, mostly they just complain about um, negative stereotypes of Italian Americans in media. Um, it's like, boy, they must have hated the Sopranos. <laughs> Ah, oh. him to stop. I do question how lights are still operating on this ship. Around. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! <gasps> oh, 
Yeah. Come on. Let's go. It's one of those ones that works really well because the despite being episodic by nature you know the characters all have their distinct arcs they develop over time and to surprise me with the, whole pirate the action in the today. show no, is fully I mean, character funny. motivated funny, which keeps it interesting are taking it a little too far maybe and don't be cheap i mean you didn't feel like paying top dollar and that's you get you get these guys that are not the cream of the crop they're taking it a little too far you know you get my drift <laughs> So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of oh, these guys. Oh, no, I, I watched the hell out of it. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing my, us. Uh, my dad and my stepmom were into it. I got into it. Um, there was a period I was routinely torrenting every episode as it came out. I sure as hell didn't have HBO. <laughs> Welcome back, Elliot. Do you have a good time? Huh. I'm not sure what to make of that. I hope that's not, like, useful information that I'm about to forget. Well, it's like, you know, not only was Sopranos good, it really, um, pretty well. Uh, we're coming back, we're coming up to the end pretty soon, but, uh, it's going fairly smoothly. And spooky portrait time. Oh, shit. That's, that's really bad. Um, but, like, Sopranos is one of those shows that paved, paved the way for kind of that golden age of TV, where it's like, there's too many good shows coming out. Like... Without Sopranos, Duke. we don't wind up with The Wire um, or Breaking Bad and in turn Be so, Better Call Saul. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All the ways they're just trying to be spoopy here. saw him jump man overboard ordered full stop and anchor at 0128 I received reports of a man overboard ensure that all units under your, under your command are notified and prepared to assist in search and recovery of the casualty and if I remember correctly uh, William P. Ford was the captain yeah the wire is excellent um, the second season drags a little bit but it's worth it for everything that comes after. Like, first season good, second season's okay. Third is fine. Oh. And uh, the fourth season, of course, is amazing. Uh, that is probably the peak of the series. And then fifth, I don't know what they were doing. It's not bad, it just feels... It's just, it's just fucking with me. It's it a, feels out of place. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's just, it's just fucking with me, okay? <laughs> fucking with me. Now, I haven't seen The Boys. Um, I know my girlfriend has suggested it. Um, I did watch the other one that Amazon did. Hey, you know, I could bludgeon someone to death with this. Why don't I keep it? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, I watched the other one, uh, Invincible, which I really liked. 
Yeah, I think it did. I mean, it threw itself across the room. God, he looks like he's fondling a shake weight. Not even. Okay, so what's through here? Is this... No, that's where I came in. If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. I don't think the captain knew either, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? This man has should. no inner monologue. But should I? Yeah, I should. Just do it. <clears throat> <laughs> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? Oh, I, I just realized we're looking through a hole in the, uh, in the structure. That's neat. Probably not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. Boy, they're really running with that gag. Did you pick up the phone? No? I think it was in here earlier. That's not letting me go, though, so... Okay. Yeah, this was... That was the thing about the dude jumping. Oh, yeah, we saw that already. Never mind. Was this the, yeah, there's that map that doesn't really tell me anything useful. Hmm. Suitcase? No. I guess I'm stuck here until I find something to break open that door. Or at least some way to get gain some leverage and pop it open, but nothing's really jumping out at me. why you'll never catch me going on a cruise. Oh, so we are going to pick this up and it's use it? got some half at least. Enough for the door.
Oh, that was the X button. This guy's not going to survive if I keep hitting buttons like an asshole. There we go. So many of these horror stories where people be on a cruise and the and like something horrible gets in the water and like everyone is just shitting themselves for a week. Doesn't sound pleasant. Oh jeez. Oh, he did. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it happens. It's me. Come on, let's go. Jesus! We gotta get somewhere safe. Okay, I got about 15 minutes. So we get to, uh... We get to a good place to cut, and then I'm gonna look for somebody to read. We'll be all right here. Okay, I think we've got a curator. Yep. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? 
Now you're one down. And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. Hey, I'm just not used to the button layout. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Mm. I'm going to be cocky about it. No hint. Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Perhaps Listen to me, you started smug, to realize flat little man. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this <laughs> and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? No, Go Conrad on, had it coming. Back to it. Speak soon. Okay. So that's where I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, yeah, I've only got a few minutes. So I want to thank everyone for coming by and keeping me company while I get up to my nonsense. And of course, said nonsense can be found here on Twitch at Spook Plays Games, Twitter Spook Plays Games, and YouTube Spook327. And occasionally, when I have clips for it, uh, my TikTok at spook.plays.games. Usual schedule is Friday and Saturday evenings and then uh, Sunday afternoons. Tomorrow we'll be doing more of the Persona 3 grind and then Sunday uh, Stardew Valley with Lavender Menace. As for now, stand by for the end slate and a raid. Thanks again for coming by and have a nice evening, everyone. Let's see. YouTube. Well, if you're wondering what's happened, <laughs> so am I. <laughs>